What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? A seven-digit paycheck and a beautiful woman that shares my interests to live the rest of my life with. I mean, if you're asking me... You should stay here with them. Yes, strong man who could most certainly save me if I should slip and fall at any moment in time. You should stay behind so I can die all alone in the middle of the mist. That'll be... that'll make for a great game. Even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. Yeah, I'm sure your dad would be wonderfully proud about you endangering your life for a big fat fuck all. Christ. Most parents get pissy for people dropping out of college. Never mind that shit. That's it, Lara. Swing. Keep on swinging and try to gain the momentum you lost when the developers of this decided to release it on the same fucking day as Fallout 4. Now the game can continue. Oh, wait. <laughs> I love the way she sold that. Some true dedication to your craft. And in Lara's search for a tomb to raid, she has found herself in need of medical aid. On the northwest border of Syria is where you'll see her. And in the middle of the desert is where she's gonna be her. And she oh, there's a fucking eagle! That was a glow stick! So little has happened in the past 25 minutes, I'm gonna make a tomb raver joke! It's cobwebs, it's dark, it's scary. Any second something's gonna pop out, she's gonna shriek a bit. Oh no, the tension is rising, the light has died. There it is. Oh no, what's gonna happen? I can die! You could say the game just suddenly got a bit of a... Difficulty spike. Jesus, look at her face. She's amazed. She's in awe. She must be seeing something beautiful right now. It's a fucking wall. A little crack in it with water coming through. And she's just got this face of amazement. Fuck me, can I be Lara Croft for a day? The moment my bloody desktop wallpaper screensaver comes on, I'd be fucking jizzing. Drop the book. Or you can shoot him in the leg to make sure he can't run. Or shoot him in the arm to make sure- You can't stop us! You- I'm, no, I'm, I'm sorry, Lara. Lara, you, you, you had a gun trained on him for ten seconds prior. Could have put him in the leg at any point. Prompted, decided to not do that. Then you let him go out the window and then you shot at him. I'm gonna take this controller that I've not been able to use for the past ten minutes and I'm gonna shove it up my ass. Um... I'm sorry. Am I on one of those invisible borders of bullshit the game likes to make? Because I don't think I was supposed to have triggered that wolf doing the jiggery juja. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that this is not meant to happen. Okay, um, did I break the game or is this a common occurrence? <laughs> it just gets funnier the closer I get. Because it, it, it's, it's been there this entire time doing this little thing, doing this jig. Just staring at me. I mean, it's, it's doing one hell of a wolf job. There we go. Yes. Into the wolf. Oh my god. <laughs> That's vicious. But yes, please be shocked and scared by the wolf that was there for an approximate three straight minutes of me monologuing about how fucking stupid this game is. Oh, okay. No, I went back. It, uh, it just happens again. The wolf just does this. This is a, this is a feature. This is a feature. The wolf won't attack if you don't go past this tree and bush. Because apparently you're just not a desirable meal. As long as you don't go past this invisible wall of the designer's laziness. You know, Laura, when trying to remain unseen by animals while hunting them in the dark, I often find the best tactic is to uh, get an illuminescent cock rod and put it in your hand and wave it about. Mm. Oh my lord, there's a grizzly bear. I'm not dodging shit. I want to see this with my own two eyes. Turn down for what? I'm having a fucking blast. Ooh, whoops, I missed. And apparently he didn't hear that. Do you think he heard that? I fucking hope so. Everything's just in one ear, out the other with you. I would feel bad about this. But that would require me to have some kind of moral compass and actually have emotion. I'm afraid my name is Lara Croft. I give, I, 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 I give no shits about your well-being.
Wait, that was it. I was getting ready to run. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Barry, rewind and replay Lara's words of wisdom. You have to fight. Is it? Is that why I absolutely annihilated the little fucking chubby bastard down here? Is, it, is that why? I just made a chubby bunny out of this big motherfucker? Really? Are you... Are you why did you lie to me? This was the perfect environment to fight it. I didn't even know I was here. Oh my... Laura, you are more full of shit than a cesspit. Oh, and then there was an explosion that went in five frames a second. I don't even need to make jokes at this point, I just need to point at the dumb shit and laugh, don't I? Distract with objects? You think I am some punk bitch? I'm gonna fight them head on, I don't need no distractions. However will I do this stealthily? Oh, when both of them are right then and there looking in my face? Oh, I don't know! What if the other guy just looks around awkwardly at the corpse and doesn't immediately check his surroundings for a fucking person that killed his friend? They have the reaction time of a goddamn mushy spud. I don't even... Where's the threat? Where's the danger? Lara Croft could be... She, she could be flicking a cat in the middle of the snow. She'd be in no danger. None of these fuckers know how to defend themselves. None of them. Oh, I can get some branches. Because, you know, priority number one. <laughs> in the middle of murdering people, mercilessly, without any remorse, regard, or general reaction at all. Gotta get some firewood for later to keep herself warm at night. <laughs> I love how little of a shit she gives about killing people. I fucking really do. Oh god, she, she'll talk forever about those goddamn scrolls with text on it. However, what, I, what I'd like her to discuss is that helicopter without any fucking blades on the top. I'm gonna kill the guy right in the middle there, and no one's gonna notice that either. Oh no. Crater McCraterton went ahead and spontaneously concreted. It was a good thing he stood still. Because... When you literally say the words, We've got an intruder. what you want to be doing is standing out in the open, not moving, giving said intruder a perfect, clear shot of your head. And in that crate, I got a semi-auto pistol pot. Oh man, I can get a semi-auto pistol? Really? I can make my own? Even though my entire existence right now is fulfilled and maintained from looting corpses I create, at no point does it cross my mind to maybe take the gun from the, uh, 12 people I've killed thus far. No. Just leave those behind. No, because we're gonna make our own. Yeah. We, 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 we raid the tombs. We skin the carcasses. We snap the leaves. We, we, we fire the wood. We don't take the guns, though. I mean, we'll even take the arrow we plunged into someone's head out to use again on someone else. But we won't take their gun. It would make sense if she didn't like guns, but seeing as she's currently trying to fucking arts and crafts her own, I'm beginning to question the logic of everything in this. Now I have a gun. Because it was on a corpse that I already found, I, I have a gun now. What the f- You've killed 12 people, Lara. What was wrong with theirs? Because this was an innocent man we can use his? Man. No one noticed that. No one noticed the man consistently patrolling on that catwalk just suddenly stopping. Suddenly being laid down, in fact. I mean, you know, best case scenario, he's just sleeping on the job and needs to be slapped. That's the best case scenario. I just... You... That's how you casually respond to an arrow? Oh my god. I mean, you don't know it's an arrow, but... It was something. This is amazing. Jesus! Tap dancing Christ! Oh my god, and he's still there. What? Have you got old fucking Walkman on? Are you listening to some fucking sick beats over there? Did you, did you not hear your, all of your friends dying? Did you not fucking hear it? Did his back just break at the speed of light? Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down. We interrupt this episode to bring you a quick promotional message. If you did indeed enjoy this video, then please do like the video to let me know and I shall make more of it. I'm aiming more for the variety, and this was a blast to play, even if I was casually fucking around as if I was not enjoying it for the first, I don't know how long of the video. <laughs> And while I have you here, I'm gonna have to recommend you check out another person listed here. For instance, Cory Genshin. He has a fantastic family-friendly channel, which is crazy to think exists on the spectrum when you hear my obscene nonsense. But he's absolutely fantastic at what he does in terms of editing and just general presentation of his work, so I strongly recommend you go check him out. And also, I highly recommend that you follow me on Twitter as well, because you get to keep up to date with videos, you get dumb jokes, and you generally get more of me in your life. 
I don't know if that's something you want, but the option's there if you do. And with that being said, we now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. We... <laughs> I just like the fact you let me do that. You know, Lara, that looked like it might have hurt. I'm not gonna press that button. I wanna see what's gonna happen. I didn't... I didn't get to see what actually happened. I feel like I've been robbed. We. I am infallible. I was trying to die and didn't. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> what? Can you not handle this ledge, Laura? This is not even legs, excuse me, it's a slope. This is like a 15 degree slope and she's just losing it. I'm not even trying to be a prick and break the game. I thought I was supposed to go this way for a second. And then all of a sudden, physics just can't. <laughs> they just can't. What the <laughs> I'm not doing anything other than holding up on the joystick, and this is just a, a plethora, a smorgasbord of animation fuck-ups. <laughs> this is... this is fun. That's it, Lara. You build that camp. Knowing full well there was a wolf not only 20 feet away from your current position, higgin, jigging, and jiving, left to the right and the right to the left, in the many hours of whatever the hell you've been doing. It, it just didn't go past that tree. You know it's a game, but as soon as you start applying the slightest shred of sugary logic to it, everything becomes so much stupider and so much more funny. It's brilliant. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. Um, I'm, my dick's just trickling with joy. I, just <laughs> I don't like killing animals in games. I'm a bit of a soft git. Oh, bloody hell, on this one. <laughs> this one of the birds wants to fly into my eyes. What was that? Credits are earned for exploration. Use credits to purchase card packs in the marketplace? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Am I playing a Pokemon game? <laughs> Lara Croft, gotta raid them all. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that almost killed me. Man, I bet Lara thinks she's one cool cat, surviving out here on the wild, and not needing to eat any food. Because in all the things I'm hunting, food isn't a resource. This bitch don't need no energy. No, she, she just needs resources to kill bitches to sustain her. That's what she needs. She needs a healthy diet of murder of the first degree. Man, I am Indiana Jonesing for some food right about now. I've been playing this for two hours. I've been enjoying it. I'm not even complaining, I'm just saying. I'm just really fucking hungry. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Well. By scaling an icy ship and opening up a thing and reading the page, I can now arrow better. Paint me green and give me my own show on the CW network, because fuck me. I just... Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> References, when, when, when the avid content creator just can't joke. I'm sorry, what, 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 what's happening right now is a complete inconsistency. I was in a room with the roughly the same amount of people, not, not a moment ago, with a bow and arrow. I killed them all. I now possess a gun, and I'm not killing the people I deem to be an immediate threat to my survival and my friend's survival. <laughs> And I'm witnessing this and doing nothing about it. There's now one less of them to fight. And I'm still not putting a bullet in them. A new world awaits. One of our own making. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like some Holocaust shit. At no point should Lara put a bullet in all of your heads. She's shown the capacity to do so, so many times, that it makes no sense for us to have not done it, but fuck it, I gotta do the story thing, ride a doodle diddle, couldn't think of a convenient reason why she wouldn't do that, like maybe keep the guy alive from before, didn't want to put him in danger, but no, she didn't do that, so there's no reason why I did not try and kill them right then and there. But now I'm gonna kill them, now there's three less of them, oh my god, you've gotta be fucking, alright, that's it, no, I'm completely fucking done, you, 
are a fucking logical fallacy. I can't even aim.